Hi. You know, I gotta admit, I love my DaVinci 1.0 3D printer. This thing, I'm using it all the time. When I get home from work, I'm running prints. Uh, on the weekends, when I get a chance, even at night, I'll run a print so it's ready in the morning. And it's not just because of my designs. I'm doing designs for other people. I'm doing for uh, friends of mine at GamersOption.com. They do custom Xbox and PlayStation controllers, and they have a row of people building the controllers. And uh, they need they got a wall of pegboard that they wanted brackets mounted so they could put their rolls of solder or rolls of wire. So I agreed to make them a bunch of brackets right here. And I'm going to show you how to make one of these in today's episode. Here's the bracket design in Tinkercad. I've got a 70 millimeter post to hold the solder with a little end cap. And then there's an L bracket to hold the post. I added a triangular bracket to add support. This rests against the pegboard. And then there's a 6 millimeter hole put inside the L bracket. That's for a bolt and nut. Then there's two 6 millimeter posts that are spaced perfectly to fit into the holes in the pegboard. Now I wanted to just clean up the edges so I used a hole tool to take away a little bit off the cap of the post and then a little bit off the bottom of the triangular bracket. So it's ready to go. I draw a selection box all the way around it and then click on group. This brings them all together into one solid bracket design. Now I click on design and then download for 3D printing and select the .stl file. This will download the file to my computer so I'm ready to print. Now that we have our .stl file, I open the XYZWare software that controls the DaVinci 3D printer, I load the file, it drops in place, and now we can adjust the settings for how we want to print it. Now I open the export menu so I can adjust the settings for the design. First I click excellent, but then I bypass the raft and supports, I don't want those. But I do want to change the density to a large 50% fill. This will make it a little bit stronger. I'm going to leave the layer height alone and the shells and speed alone. Then I'll export it and the software will go about slicing the design and create the 3W file. It takes about four and a half minutes. From there I'll save the file and then I will use the print command to send it to the printer. From there the design will begin to print. Now we have the finished bracket all cleaned up in three different views. Now I'll test it in my own pegboard to make sure it fits. Of course I've tried this several times and you can see the holes are a little bit rounded out. It fits nice and tight on a fresh pegboard. I'll add a screw and a nut to the back side. I'll just finger tighten it here to test it out. Once tightened up, the bracket is clearly very solid. Now I'll bring my own solder, place it on the shaft, and you can see how easy this is to use. Just pull the solder out and wind it back. Very handy. But now I need to make eight more of these. And here they are. Ready to go. So that's it. The project is done. I'm going to open source the files. I'll put them on my Thingiverse account and I'll put a link in the description below the YouTube video. If you like this project, check out some of my other videos. And also, subscribe to my channel. It lets me know you're watching. See you next time.